So this is actually a really cool project because they have this corner off the side of their patio and our little seven by nine foot pond will fit perfect in here. Look at how far we are and we are only about two hours in. Pond is 80% rock. We just have to finish this little backwater area here. Oh! Awesome, Nick. I love the shape of the pond. This looks so awesome. Good morning, everybody. It's Chris at Team Aquascape. Today's project is going to be a start to finish new build. We are going to build about an eight by 12 ecosystem pond with a 2500 biofalls and a signature 400 skimmer. And we cannot wait to get started. Follow us along. Here is our canvas for the day. You can see the customers already removed a little bit of stuff. I think they had an old sandbox here and some existing vegetation. So that's done. I've got our utilities marked. We've got a signature Japanese maple, which is always awesome because we love tucking those things in next to the waterfall or on the side of the pond. We are going to make this thing absolutely incredible. It is going to be a scorcher today. So we got up and at them out of the office early this morning to try and beat some of the heat. I think I hear the rock guy behind me as well as our trucks. So I'm gonna go check in on them, make sure we're good and start getting things unloaded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at all those beautiful shirts we got on here. Right branding, mm -hmm. pond's done right, customers serve right. Yes, sir. What you doing? So this is actually a really cool project because they have this corner off the side of their patio and our little seven by nine foot pond will fit perfect in here. So we have about nine feet from there to there, seven feet from there to there. You can see Matt's doing step two, place the filters. So we got the skimmer box going there. Our bio falls will go in next. Right after that, we'll lay the plumbing on the ground. We'll start digging this. We've got probably an oversized shovel sitting over here to my right for a pond this side. Who, that guy? <laughs> oh, that thing, yeah. But it'll definitely help just scoop in this out and more importantly get you guys out of here early usually on a pond this size we would never bring in a hand machine dig. we would just hand dig this whole thing yep it's not that big we would have this probably dug by 10 o'clock which doesn't mean much to you but that'd be like two hours from now you know two and a, two and a half hours from now so you were just completing step what one okay mark, good mark so we're so we're not jumping ahead here that's no, awesome no, no. okay so it's awesome that you guys got all this grass ripped out which is awesome because it just gives us a nice clean palette to work with yep one of my pet peeves is taking all this stuff flipping it up in the berm and then later that grass growing up through all your plants and everything else. So getting this out of here allows now the clean soil to sit in here. And then we'll probably top dress this with some good stuff a little bit later. Yep. The homeowners have bought some cool plants. I see a Japanese maple over there. I see some milkweed, which is awesome for all the butterflies. So it'll, uh, it'll, be, it'll be a really cool project. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Should we dump this? Let's race. <laughs> well, as you can see, we've got Hellfritz back there behind me on the machine. And normally we'd have all hands on deck digging right now, but we are going incredibly quick and efficiently digging this hole. Maybe it paid off to have that little mini excavator out here. So with that being said, Juan and I are gonna go ahead and start bringing boulders back and getting it ready. So as soon as this pond is dug, we can start rocking and rolling. Let me get there. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting it for you. How do I do that? <laughs> These fancy phones. You gotta punch it with your fist. There you go, knock on it. 8.52. Yep, couldn't get it, but we'll believe you. So, so 8.52. The hole's, uh, the hole's roughed in mm -hmm. about an hour, hour and a half earlier. So the machine helped uh, it being, what, 95 degrees today with 100% humidity, maybe 150% humidity. <laughs> it's hot. The machine helped just for that point, you know, like yeah. so we're not digging that much longer. You guys have half the rock already moved back here. Yep. You can see the berm. The trickiest part of this job is that the yard slopes away. Hard. And we always want the waterfall facing this way. So we usually set our water level off of a hard Scape. So whether it's a patio or a concrete pad or whatever, this is the main seating area is where we set the water level. Yep. So we're setting the water level three to four inches lower than this, which means all of that had to get built up. And you can see how high the skimmer box is out of the ground yep. right here. All of this has to get built up this high just to get it level with this. But that's really important for us to do just to maintain a decent looking. Let's throw a level on the patio. Can you make it all the way across? So 
so. That's about right. That's right. It's like they knew what they were doing today. That's good. That's a little high. Yeah. <laughs> the thing you have to be careful about is when you're doing that, all of this gets built up too, which means your waterfall is gonna get smaller. Yeah. I'm guessing this is probably there. We might need to jack her up a little bit, or if it's easier, set that lower. That's a six and a half inch. Significant waterfall. Yeah. I would set, it'll be easier to drop that down. That screws, it's like the same height as this, no? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so excavation is now complete. Definitely paid off having that thing out here. We ran into a decent amount of clay. We have the geotextile underlayment going in now that we're gonna bring that liner in, get our skimmer connected, as well as start rocking in through here. So we are cruising right along, and most of the boulders, if not all of them, appear to be back here. We also brought in about four yards of topsoil to help create more of that berm elongated out and help prevent that volcanic look around the biofalls just behind Corey there. So let's go. We've got the skimmer ready to be attached. We have the penetration in the liner where the skimmer faceplate attaches through. The challenge on these 400 series skimmers is the bottom of the skimmer faceplate has these little, I don't know what you would call them, but part of the tooling on the mold gives these two tabs. So we have to actually overcut as opposed to the Signature Series 1000 where we can just cut a nice square line around and it fits nice and snug. So we've got our two top screws already in place. We use those as a guide when we're putting it back in. So we've got our bead of silicone. The guide Nick and Trevor are doing an awesome job continuing to rock behind me. Matt and I are gonna continue getting the skimmer done and then that's finished and then we can finish rocking in the rest of the pond. So making really good progress even though it's super duper hot out here. All right, we heat. Like, see my hair? See what humidity and flying at the speed of light does? Look at how far we are, and we are only about two hours in. Pond is 80% rock. We just have to finish this little backwater area here. Nick is going to bird dog the waterfalls today. You can see he's got his waterfall building pants on, so that's good. Myself and the boys are gonna finish connecting this wall. We're gonna kind of make a backwater plant shelf area. This is all done in through here. So the goal on a project this size is to have the pond completely rock by lunch so that we can rinse it down, have it filling while we're eating lunch, and then we focus on the waterfalls, the retaining wall, all the detail work that goes into turning this thing into a work of art. So I'm gonna get back at it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update real quick, and we are boogieing, boogieing right along. The last 10%. It's a good thing these guys don't care about it. I'm just standing here. Don't let them, letting Matt do it. Where are you gonna put that thing? Maybe over here. Right here. Oh man, you sure you're gonna put it there? Oh. Uh, yeah, that's good. Why? Wow, that's actually the most productive thing you've done today. Yeah. Juan does a lot every day. You're gonna put it right there, of all places? Okay, fine. All right, are we ready for the moment of truth? I can't wait to see it. Water's gonna come off of that rock right there, cascade down, pool up, and shoot over that rock, and then back over, and then we've got a neat little surprise for you guys and the customer once we turn this thing on, so I'm super excited to show that to you. We've got Juan over there trying to hide. He's on the backpack blower. So you know we're getting close where the backpack blower is going. So it is cleanup mode right now. We're just, we're letting some foam dry. We're just about ready to plug this thing in. Can't wait to see the look on our teammates' face, but also on the homeowner's face. So, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. Oh! Awesome, Nick. There's a little dribbler on that one side. Every time after we turn the waterfalls on, we always end up tweaking it and making it look even better. Nick did a fantastic job bird dogging that waterfall. It just turned out great. The sound that it creates is just absolutely perfect. You can see we've got a little side shoot waterfall, a little secret falls back in there where Juan was just messing around with his right hand, pulling out some gravel, opening that up. It takes a little bit of water from that fall, but what we did is we put a two inch pipe back behind that rock, wrapped it around, 
around and dumped it out right there just to give a little bit something extra coming off through there. It's a little attention to detail that really just sets it off. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love the shape of the pond. This looks so awesome. Water's a little murky just from some of the dust and stuff being kicked up in the rock and gravel. There's the Signature Series 400 skimmer right there doing its job sucking in the water. It just looks beautiful. Couldn't be more happy. And it's also not seven, eight o'clock at night when we're finishing. So guys, did it pay to have the machine here to dig today? A lot easier. Tell Brian that, tell him whose idea it was. Hmm? 